Kātma ke paratattva, in that paratattva which is ek atman, the one self, the state of the self or the state of the pure state of consciousness, paratattva in that supreme state, when you are awakened to that other state, bheda vārta katham bhavet, how can there be any plurality in it? Is one without a second, the self, where the world of plurality is left, because these interpreters are the mind, the mind has been transcended, and when you transcend the mind, plurality gone, there will be only the self, me, one without a second. How can there be even the speech a talk of? a suspicion of plurality. Sushuptao sukha matraya. And it is your experience also. There where there is no mind, you are in deep sleep. In the deep sleep, you are nothing but sukha matra. Supreme happiness, no disturbance, because the mind has been trapped. Temporarily gone beyond the mind. The mind is sleeping. Overwhelmed, the mind has been overwhelmed with its own fatigue and it is resting. There, where the mind is not disturbing you, you are in deep sleep. In the deep sleep, every human being and plant and animal enjoys happiness. In that ega, uh, ananda matra, sukha matrayam, bheda kenavalokita. Is there anyone in this world who has seen in sleep, in deep sleep, something other than that happiness? So when mind is transcended through contemplation and meditation, after training the mind properly, when a purified mind becomes steady and still, Alert and vigilant, in that quiet mind is transcended. What can there be but the one self? Bliss absolute. Is there, can there be any plurality? In deep sleep, is there anyone who has seen anything there? Plurality. In the same way where the mind has been transcended through contemplation, meditation, you are moving from your present state of conscious state of evolution into a new dimension of evolution. The acme, the goal, the fulfillment of life's all journey. Uh, 